Okay. Welcome to Yin. I'm Tiffany. Uh, you can have blocks if you would like, but you don't need them. Um, today for our class, we're going to be actually working on just the entire body. I, I tried to um, kind of touch on all of all of the areas. Just uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have been just really stiff and not moving as much as I used to. So this uh, sequence should help us feel a little more loosened up when we're done. And, Hopefully a little more relaxed too. So we're going to start out in just a comfortable seated position. And then start to close your eyes. Quiet your thoughts. Try to shut out anything that might be going on around you. Any little noises throughout your house. Just allow this time for yourself. Take a deep breath in. Take a long, slow exhale out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in. Long, slow exhale out through your mouth. Just do a few rounds of breath like this on your own, at your own pace, taking your time. On your exhales, letting go of anything you need to let go of. Anything that doesn't serve you. Inhales, breathing in new energy. Just imagine yourself filtering out the old, bringing in new positive. Do one more round of breath this way. And then return to your natural breath. Keeping your eyes closed. Maybe wiggle your spine up a little straighter. Open your chest a little bit more. I'm going to uh, read to you um, just a reading out of a book called Deep Listening from Jillian Kransky a great way to kind of start your practice. All welcome. In whatever way you're showing up here, wherever you may have been, gather your whole self up and let yourself know you're welcome here. Whether you're showing up with expectations or with fears, whether you're showing up in joy or in sorrow, Take a moment to greet yourself exactly as you are right now. Gather yourself up and welcome all of you, your mind, your body, your breath. Sit for a moment and welcome yourself along with each breath as it fills you. Welcome your breath into your body. Welcome your mind onto your breath. Welcome your body into the room. Your breath is always welcoming you. Meet your breath with your body. Greet your breath with your body. Take a moment to be with your breath. Take a moment to be with yourself. When we feel welcomed, we show up more.
Take another deep breath here. And then you can slowly start to open your eyes. We're going to get started uh, with our practice with a neck stretch. So we're going to start out by bringing the right arm up into the air and touching your left ear. And then bring your right ear over towards your right shoulder. You can stay with just that or for more stretch, you can bring your left hand out beside you. Try to relax the left shoulder down away from your ear as much as possible. Don't let it tense up or uh, creep up towards your ear. Try to keep stretching it down, letting that whole side of your neck open up. Remember, you don't have to take it to the extreme right away. You can slowly get into that, into any of these poses, any of these stretches. We have a little longer to be here, so you can take your time. Nice deep breath. Maybe wiggle your jaw a little bit to start loosening the jaw up as well. If while you're holding you need more stretch, you find you can walk your hand out farther away from you. Take one more deep breath here. And then on the next inhale, gently release your head and slowly bring it back up to center. You want to wiggle your shoulders out a little bit in between your hands, whatever movement you need to make. And then we'll do the other side. So the left hand comes up, reaches for the right ear, and then bring that left ear towards the left shoulder. And walk this right arm out if that feels good or maybe start with it a little closer and you can kind of inch it out as you go. Trying to relax that shoulder down away from the ear. Really let the neck open up. A lot of tension in our shoulders and neck so just imagine that leaving your body. No, uh, you don't need to hang on to any of that stress any longer. Just let it go. Focusing on your breath. Maybe wiggle the jaw again. Take one more nice deep breath here. And then on your next inhale, gently release and come back up to center. Then you can take a moment to maybe roll the neck out or roll the shoulders, any movement that might feel good to you. And then when you're ready, we're going to come on to hands and knees and do some wrist stretches. We're going to start out with uh, the right hand. Well, actually, this will be both hands. We'll do the other one in a minute. So with both hands, we're going to turn the fingers towards your knee. If your fingers, your wrists don't go that way, just turn your hands off to wherever you get any sort of stretch. And if you have a little bit more flexibility in your wrists and you need a little more stretch, you can lean back until you find the stretch that you need.
take one more breath here. And then gently come back to the center. You can bring your fingers back towards the normal position, shaking the wrist out a little bit. Now we're going to use just the right hand. Place the top of your hand on top of your mat. So this way. And you may be able to straighten your elbow, you might not, just wherever you find a stretch. And again, if you need more, you can always lean back a little bit. Make sure you're not putting very much weight on your hand that you're stretching. That should all be on your other hand and your knee. You don't want to put a lot of strain on that, just getting a stretch. One more breath here. And then gently come back to the center. Release that hand again. Do some wrist circles. And then set that hand down. We'll do the left hand. So top of the hand on the mat. Lean back for more stretch. One more breath here. And then come back to the center. Shake that one out. And bring both hands right underneath your shoulders. And we're just going to circle around a couple of times. And then circle the other way. Bring it back to center. Next, we're going to move into a toe squat. So we're going to bend the toes. Try to keep your heels together and your ankles together if possible. Uh, you may need blocks, so if that's close by, you can grab it along the way. Then we're going to sit up and back on the heels. If this is something new uh, for you or uh, your feet are really tight, just go slowly. You can have your hands on your blocks or on your thighs and just slowly go into it or you might just be able to sit right back into the pose. Stretching your feet. Seeing if you can stick with it. It's not always the easiest one. Nice deep breath. Maybe focus on your four four breath. So inhaling for four seconds and exhaling for four seconds. You may need five or six seconds, whatever it may be, but just making your inhale and your exhale the same length. One more round of your four four breath. And then come back to your natural breath. Come forward onto your hands again and then tap the tops of your feet out on the mat. Now we're going to keep the tops of the feet on the mat. We're going to do an ankle stretch. So now we're sitting on the heels. That might be enough for you. You can use your blocks behind you if you need to bring the ground a little closer. Or you can bring your hands to the ground, to the mat. That might be enough. Or you might be able to lift your knees up and really stretch into, kind of into your shins almost, into your legs, as well as your feet and your ankles. on the breath. One more round of breath. And then place the knees back down, walk your hands back out in front of you. We're going to come into puppy pose. So we'll come up onto hands and knees, knees right under your hips. 
and then slide the hands out almost as if you're pushing like downward dog and then maybe bring your forehead to the mat you can bring your forehead to a block if that feels better sometimes people like to put their chin on the mat so if you need a little bit more out of this you can put your chin on the mat i like the forehead version the chin one kind of bothers my mat Take what you need. Letting the shoulders start to separate away from each other and open up. Relax your drop your jaw. Relax your facial features. Two more rounds of breath here. And then slowly start to lift your head. Coming forward slightly, we're going to come down onto our stomach. We're going to do another shoulder stretch. Get yourself situated on your stomach. And then we're going to bring the right arm out to the side and roll over onto your right side. You can stay just like this, or you can bend your left knee and place your foot on the floor behind you. You can bring your left arm up into the air, maybe let it fall behind you, or place the top of the hand on your lower back. Finding the stretch that you need tonight. And know that you don't have to go to the edge right away. You can slowly get there. Two more rounds of breath here. And then on your next inhale, slowly roll back onto your stomach, bringing the left hand back underneath your shoulder. And then once you get to your stomach, you can slide that right hand back under the shoulder. 
Then we're gonna do it on the other side. So left hand will go out to the side, rolling over onto that left side. Placing the foot up if you'd like, and you can just kind of fall or top of the hand to the lower back. Again, whatever you need. Sometimes different sides are different, and that's fine. Just deep breaths into the shoulder. Two more deep breaths here. And then on your next inhale, you can bring that right hand back underneath the shoulder, slowly rolling back onto your stomach, and sliding that left hand back under the shoulder. We're going to gently push back into child's pose. You can choose if you'd like a wide knee child's pose, if you need some hip opening, or just keeping the knees together. Whatever feels good to you. Stretching the arms up. Relaxing into the pose. your body as it sinks deeper and deeper into the pose. Feeling as if your full body is just melting into your mat. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere. Try to let that go.
to bring your awareness back to your breath. And start evening out the inhale and the exhale. One more round of breath this way. And then return to your natural breath. Slowly start to lift your head and slide your hands back in, pushing yourself back up to seated. Take your time, letting the blood settle back in. We're going to bring the legs around and out in front of you. The legs out straight, maybe wiggle them out a little bit. And then flex your feet, straighten the legs a little more. Most of them, you're pushing against something with your feet. So you can really get that stretch in the legs. And then stretch the arms up into the air and start to fold forward. Let your hands fall wherever they fall. You don't have to push it too much here. Folding forward. You can uh, use your blocks if you need to, to kind of make a block tower for your head if you need it. You give a little bit more support on your lower back. You can bend your knees if you need to. Looking for a stretch in the back of the legs. Awareness back to your breath. Taking two more deep breaths here. And then on the next inhale, starting to lift your head, you can release your hands and just gently slide back up to seat it. Taking your time. Sit up nice and tall when you get there. You wiggle your legs out again. Then we're going to bring the feet together, coming into butterfly pose. Taking the feet as far or as close as you would like, letting the knees fall open. If this is a lot of pressure for you, you can um, put your blocks underneath your knees, and that will help that a little bit. You can stay upright or start to fold forward. Again, taking your time. Noticing if, you're, if there's a lot of tightness in your inner thighs. Just breathing into that. Letting your body sink little by little deeper into the pose.
If you're not using your blocks under your knees, you can also have a block tower here. If you need it. Helps you take some of the pressure, some of the tension off of your lower back. Two more deep breaths here. And slowly start to come back upright. We're gonna keep this left leg folded in and bring the right leg out to straight. You can kind of tuck your heel on this left crease or over to the right, whatever feels okay to you. And we'll turn and face the right leg and then just start to slide your hands down, moving your body over the leg, stretching over that right leg. Keeping it straight if possible, but bending the knee if you need to. You might be able to grab your foot. Two more deep breaths here. And then you can release your foot or your ankle or your shin, wherever you're holding on, and very slowly start to come back up to the center. Pause there for a moment. And then we'll switch sides. So bring the right foot in, left foot out. Turn and face that left leg. Start to walk the hands down, grabbing the leg, the shin, the foot, wherever you're at today, and then just folding your body over that leg.
Two more deep breaths here. Release wherever you're holding on to and slowly come back up, taking your time. Back to the center, pausing for a moment. And if you want to bring both of your legs back up in front of you, wiggle them out again. Any movement that you need to make here will be coming on to uh, our backs next. So anything that you need to do before you get there. And then we'll come to laying on our back. Just placing your feet on the mat. And you can shrug your shoulders up to your ears and slide your shoulder blades down your back. Getting your back nice and even on the mat. And then we're going to hug the knees into the chest. Looking for a little stretch in the lower back, but not hugging so tight that your shoulders are scrunched up. Uh, let your shoulders relax down, let your chest relax, and just gently hang on to the knee. If you'd rather hang on to one knee at a time, that works too. Just whatever feels best. Nice deep breaths, just getting used to being on your back. Two more deep breaths here. And then you can release your knees. And we're gonna put, uh, we'll put the left foot down. We're gonna cross the right leg over your left leg. So just like you're crossing with your legs when you sit down. Then we're going to bring the legs in. So a couple of options for you here. You can just hug your knees in this way, or you can come into reclined shoelace. So grab onto your shins or your ankles or maybe even your feet and just kind of pull like you're tying a knot. You're pulling your feet away from each other. You can flex your feet. That will give you a little bit more stretch. So you'll be feeling it mostly in your right hip. See which one of those versions feels best to you. You really breathe into that right hip. You're probably kind of tensing it up. And let it relax. Let the tension in there release.
and take two more deep breaths here. And on your next inhale, release your legs, placing your feet back down. Gently uncross your legs. And then just kind of windshield wiper back and forth, just dropping your knees side to side a couple of times. And bringing the legs back to center. We'll do it on the other side. So now we're crossing the left and the right, I believe, opposite of what you did before. And then you can hug the knees in. That gives you a really good stretch just like that without as much strain. Or grab onto the shins, ankles, feet, depending on what you need, how much stretch you need, where you need it. If you're grabbing your feet, you'll want to flex the feet. And nice deep breaths into that left hip, allowing the tension to leave your body. You don't need to hold on to it, so just let it go, let it relax. Two more deep breaths here. And on your next inhale, release your legs, bring your right foot to the floor, and then uncrossing the left leg. And bring your arms out into T and drop the knees side to side again. And then when you get back to your right side, so knees over to the right, we're going to stay there for a spinal twist. So you can Stay in kind of a more gentle twist if you'd like, or if you'd like to make it a little bit more, just kind of separate your legs from each other. So almost as if you're trying to get your knee, your left knee to go straight down from your left hip. You can also place your right foot on top of your left knee. And then if you'd like, look over the left fingertips.
two more breaths here. On the next inhale, you've brought your foot on top of your knee, bring that foot back down, and gently bring your knees and your head back to center. Readjust your hips. And then drop the knees over to the left. And stay there with just that gentle twist. Or maybe bring the knee underneath your hip, so straight down from your hip. And then maybe place the left foot on top of that knee. If you'd like, look over the right fingertips. Twists are detoxifying poses, so it's just really wringing out uh, any toxins, any stress. Two more deep breaths here. And then on your next inhale, you can bring the left foot back to the mat. Gently bring the head and the knees back up to center. Maybe give the knees a hug. If you want to rock side to side, stretch the back out a little bit. And then we're going to place the feet back down. Stretch your legs out straight. Stretching through the toes. Put the arms up overhead for a full body stretch. And then from here, we'll come into banana. So you can keep your hands as they are. You can grab your elbows, or you can grab your uh, left wrist with your right hand. And then we'll walk the feet over to the right. Bring your upper body over to the right. And then get a nice stretch down that left side. Try to let your left shoulder relax as much as possible. Feeling the whole entire body stretching. And your ribs start to kind of separate away from each other.
One more nice deep breath here. And then slowly start to bring your feet back to the center. Bring the upper body back to center. And then we'll do it on the other side. So grab your uh, right wrist, walk the feet over to the left. Bring the upper body over to the left, stretching that whole right side. One more deep breath here. And walk the feet back to center. Bring the upper body back to center. And just let your feet drop open. Let your arms rest down by your side. We'll get ready to come into Shavasana. So if there's anything you need to do to be more comfortable, go ahead and do that now. And then when you're ready, closing your eyes. Deepening and lengthening the breath. Allow your body to take in your yin practice. This is where it all comes together. Starting with the top of your head, imagine the tension melting out of your forehead, out of your jaw, out of your neck. Imagine the tension melting out of your chest, and shoulders, arms, and hands. Imagine the tension melting out of your back abdomen, hips, legs, and feet until your whole body is completely relaxed. You have nothing to do for the next several minutes but relax. Shavasana.
And we start to bring your awareness back to your body. To wiggle your fingers, your toes. Make some wrist circles, ankle circles. Let your head drop over to the left. And then over to the right. And then when you're ready, roll over onto your side, pausing there for a moment. And then when you're ready, push yourself up to seated with your eyes closed. If you'd like, you can place your hands at heart center. Take a nice deep breath here. Take a moment to notice the difference in your body. Notice the difference in your thoughts and your breath from when we first started. Hopefully you feel a little more peace and a little less tension. May you be able to take that with you throughout the rest of your day and hopefully into your week as well. Thank you for your practice and your presence. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have.